It's often said that farmers are the backbone of every country. But in many parts of the world, agriculture is slow to embrace new technology, often because of economic circumstance or limited opportunity. Employing 38% of the national workforce, but accounting for under 10% of the country's GDP, the agricultural sector is a vital part of Thailand's economy. But the majority of Thailand's farmers continue to use traditional practices, creating a significant opportunity for modernization and digitization. Enter Agrowth, Thailand's first global ag tech accelerator. The Agrowth program by the National Innovation Agency in partnership with the Research and Innovation for Sustainability Center, Siam Kubota Corporation and powered by Nest, supports startup businesses and entrepreneurs from around the globe in developing breakthrough technologies. The Agrowth program began with 240 entrepreneurs who were invited to present their ideas for empowering the agriculture industry. From here, 10 projects were selected. This Agrowth program is so exciting for Thailand. It's really been two years in the making. From our first chats with the National Innovation Agency of Thailand about what are the specific ways in which they want to modernize the agriculture industry through to selecting the right corporates that share our vision for really modernizing the entire industry, looking at the whole value chain from farming through to supply chain through to actually the customers themselves. This platform is an amazing opportunity to bring world best in class startups, their technologies, their inspiration, their experiences around the world and bring it here to Bangkok to look at this as the perfect landing pad for any ag tech startup looking at Asia. Twelve weeks later, the 10 selected startup companies from Australia, Hong Kong, Nigeria, India, Malaysia, the USA and Thailand were back together to show proof of concept to a room full of mentors and investors. I think it's a great event, nice setup, and uh, looking forward to see the features of the startup. So why are you here? Oh yeah, it's a very very good event because we are investors. We are always looking for some good ideas, good projects. Great, and you found some here. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Looking forward to it. <laughs> The pioneering deployment-ready innovation included new crop management systems, drone aerial crop predictions, and urban farming solutions. AgriSource data from the USA is using its own unique software to analyze crops in a way that's truly off this planet. And what we've been doing is we're bringing global satellite technology to Thailand. What we do is we scan the farm, at near-infrared levels, we enter into our proprietary artificial intelligence software that then gives a result that we then can give to the farmer so that the farmer knows the status of his crop. The team at Jets Track from Thailand is helping farmers to make better use of their machinery. We are the machine challenge platform. You can imagine something like Grab and Uber, but for agriculture practice. We want to make uh, agricultural maps for Thailand. For example, Thailand, you can a real-time one based on activity. You don't have to put the money to make a survey and use it for like one or two years and do a survey again. But with, the, with this technology, with these services, the data will flood into the, into the platform. You can, you can have a pictures of agricultural activity, area by area. So which with this data, many corporate, government, private sector can utilize and help the farmer more accurate. How important is it for technology now to help finance farmers and the agriculture industry? Very, very important. You know, agriculture is the one of the major play of the major portion for Thailand's GDP. So uh, we basing on them, but. The producer, the farmer, they have a very poor life. We want to help them, we want, we want to make their life better. If you're talking about us, 
we need technology, but to access the dimension, to access the technology is another story for the farmer. They fear to adopt the new things, so we would like to help them conquer that fear, to help them can accept the technology without fear. A key area is tech focused on sustainable agriculture that helps address the concerns of today's hungry world. This was the first ever global ag tech accelerator in Thailand and just for a, for a first program and only 12 weeks I mean we, we had a lot of skepticism before the program started from people who said oh you know agriculture is such a long dated kind of an industry it's not like tech where you can try 40 things in a week you know in agriculture you get to try 40 things in your life so you know is three months really long enough for to accomplish anything and of course a lot of the POCs, proof of concept that these companies are working on with the corporate partners here are going to carry on beyond the end of the program. But they've all made very, very good progress in validating their solution and demonstrating what the benefit will be. So for Kubota and for Risk, who are the corporate partners, they, they now see uh, in real terms the potential of what these companies are bringing. How important is technology now in the agriculture space? Critical. Critical because if you look at all the forecasts of UN, World Bank, you know, everyone is projecting that by 2050 we're going to have to increase food supply by conservatively 70%. Now, I think a lot of that gap can be covered by reduction of waste because there's so much waste now in agriculture, which is part of what these solutions are working towards. But even if we do a great job at reducing waste, we're going to have to produce more with far less resources. Scarcity of water, scarcity of arable land. So if we continue farming as we're farming right now and try to make those kind of increases in production, we'll run out of water in a decade. So we have to implement technology to find ways to make more food in new ways. No doubt some of the ideas planted and grown from these initiatives will yield great results in the future of agriculture in Thailand and beyond.